Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. What's up, Geeky? I don't have an answer to that. Okay. It took me a minute. I'm like, I can't think of anything to say. Uh, we're going to talk about... We're gonna Not Elmer Fudd. Elmer Fudd is not up. He's sort of uh, dangling right that's now. That's right. That's right. Without his, his gun because his, his masculinity has been taken from him. Because, you know, his, his challenged masculinity. So Elmer Fudd is a toxic male. That's right. Um, Elmer Fudd's a toxic male. He doesn't have a boomstick anymore. No. And everybody's talking about it. Uh, people are like, this literally makes no sense because the character is a hunter. That That's was his whole shtick. The point, yes. Uh, and we did a video yesterday and people were like, what the hell? Well, now we have more clarification from someone who worked on the show. He put a pretty lengthy Twitter thread out there. Oh, they always put lengthy Twitter threads out there. That is Twitter. That is Twitter. And we, we have thoughts about Twitter, but that's... I, I'm about I try out. not to think about Twitter. Yeah, I'm about out. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm getting to the point where I'm about ready to leave. But anyway, um, free for all. Thank you for sending this to us. Uh, this is Michael Ruaco. Rocco, Rocco, I'm probably mangling his name. Michael R. Michael R. Mikey a, R. A guy who draws had to say about what's going on with Elmer Fudd. Do you guys seriously care whether or not Elmer Fudd has a gun in our shorts? Yes, considering how he's always had a gun in the shorts, I, I think that people would care anyway. Uh, every major media outlet is covering this. So but yeah, yes, people apparently care. care. Yeah. Uh, you know how many gags we can do with guns? Fairly few. And the best were already done by the old guys. It's limiting. It was never about the gun. It was about Elmer's flawed, challenged masculinity. Right, because, you know, when you think of really masculine characters that are challenged because they are just total toxic masculine people, Elmer Fudd is the first thing you think of. <laughs> I can't get past it. I'm sorry. Toxic fud. I can't even. <laughs> Challenge masculinity and it's over fud. <laughs> oh my God, it hurts. All right, he continues. Oh, look, he just got a man bun. Problem solved. Well, he doesn't have any hair. He's follically challenged. Doesn't matter. Follically challenged, stunted fud. I just can't okay. ch challenge masculinity so Michael and it's over fud. Oh God. Uh, Michael goes on. <laughs> Of all the damn characters, <laughs> of all the characters in all cartoon shows, we're having a discussion about how toxic Elmer fucking Fudd <laughs> is. But they gave him, but the, the, their answer was to give him a different weapon. He, they gave him a variety of, of weapons. No, no, but the new one. Oh, he had a, he had a sickle. He has a sickle. That's a new one. And you know who else has that? Got a weapon like that? Kind of like that? Sailor Satter. And they're worried about Elmer Fudd. Sailor Saturn will stick that thing up your planet's ass and blow it up. I don't think that he's the one you need to worry about. <laughs> anyway, let's continue with the toxic, the toxic masculinity of, of one Elmer Fudd. Does he have a middle initial? Is it Elmer J. Fudd? Elmer T. Fudd? I have no idea. I'm sure he does. Uh, Elmer, Elmer T. Elmer Toxic Fudd. That's right. Uh, also, think about context about what's going on in the world and how long ago our show started production. That, that actually is okay, true. This I will give them. Uh, late 2017, early 2018, right on the heels of a record number of mass shootings, particularly Vegas. Nobody wanted to touch guns working in media. I, I get that. I, I do get that. I, I understand why they made made that choice. I understand the. I understand that. But that makes more sense than Elmer Fudd having challenged masculinity. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Elmer Fudd being toxic. It does not make any sense. And you could have given him any other weapon that actually says, would fit. Uh, you know, yeah, we're, I, I want to talk about that because I think there were, I mean, look, I'm not the showrunner, but I think there were better ways to address this because Elmer Fudd has had different roles in the past. If you didn't want to go near guns, then like make him a, a car salesman or something. Well, they just said you know? that it was challenging to think of gags with a gun because it's so much easier to think of gags with a sickle. <laughs> you know, just, uh, I'm not here to put words in other people's mouths or anything. So just just be aware this is his opinion, his opinion, not the official opinion of the entire studio. Uh, but as someone who worked on, who worked for two years with these characters, I personally did not miss or care about Elmer's rifle. We got a lot more out of his personality and his lack of wit than any implement on his hands. Lack of wit on. because he's a toxic man. He is. Because you're all stupid. Correction, I worked for nearly five years with these characters, uh, three on Wabbit, New Looney Tunes, and two on Looney Tunes cartoons. Still did not care or miss the guns. We got a lot more out of the wordplay, the dynamite, and the character's own naivete, stupidity than we ever did with the guns. Now, 
just a few years ago. Wait, the dynamite? Di yeah, so dynamite's okay. <laughs> Shit up, but you can't have a gun. Oh, this you? this happened. I remember. Uh, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I know. Transformers, uh, R.I.D. The original, the 2001 yes. series. I remember they did not air the. I think it was the last two episodes because they destroyed a, a, a skyscraper. Well, that's understandable. Right, and there were a lot of things going. You know, the, the Spider-Man teaser and all that. They had to right. Take, um, I, I get the reasoning about why they made this choice. Okay, here's the thing. I get the reasoning about, at the time they greenlit this, why the choice is made. I understand that. What I don't understand is why a sickle and why they keep making these comments that basically mean because he's a problematic, toxic male. Because it's, That's what I don't get. Because that's the thing to do. That's, that's very now. Very now. Everything's problematic. Elmer Fudd. Elmer Fudd is problematic. When I guess that when I think of the most, you know, the most masculine characters in animation, Elmer Fudd doesn't even come anywhere near the top hundred. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, anyway, anyway, um, someone pointed out on Twitter, on Twitter, that uh, you know, the new Looney Tunes show or whatever it's called, the Looney Tunes show is like the sitcom version. Right. Just a few years ago. Now, I don't think Michael worked on that one, but just a few years ago, uh, Daffy Duck was rocking a machine gun. Yeah. You know, now things do change. Other people had pointed out that the Ninja Turtles for a while were not allowed to actually use their weapons because parents were upset about that. Well, I guarantee you as a parent, as a teacher, their kids are probably, you know, making either getting real weapons, you know, or making fake nunchucks and, and beating the shit out of each other. And their parents are probably like, no, no, we can't have that. I mean, that probably did happen. I can see it happening. But still, that's, so why, a, that's a failure in parenting, though. Why not just give Elmer Fudd a pair of damn nunchucks? That's right. He could just, you know, he could bludgeon the rabbit. He could bludgeon himself with them. Because that's... now he's just going to cut his head off, you know. Um, yeah, Nerd Wonder said, you can't hunt a duck with an axe, and you're not going to hunt a rabbit with a sword. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like, we're not talking, Elmer Fudd is not rocking an AR-15, okay? Elmer Fudd has a hunting rifle. He's wearing hunting gear. It doesn't make sense for him to be dressed like a hunter if he's not actually right. hunting wabbits. Change his outfit, do something. This doesn't make, it seems like they just put him in there to make fun of him. Yeah. And made the gun away. So it's like, it sounds like they're using him as a plot device to make fun of, of, of uh, let's be honest, white guys who like guns. That's what it seems like that they're using him for. Well, I guess I guess they, it could have it could have been worse. Um, you know, because they, they you know, there are some people already accusing it of being a political statement. You know, but uh, I, I do understand how these studios a lot of times become gun shy, no pun intended, mm -hmm. when there's some major crisis going on in the world. Uh, I think the guns will return to Elmer Fudd eventually because that is like, that's his character. He's I know, a hunter. But, but beyond the guns, the gun. this idea that he somehow is a toxic male just blows my mind. I just, I can't. Yeah, that he's a threat. Oh my God! When when I have nightmares about people attacking, Elmer Fudd is like at the top of the list. No kid has. Uh, there's been no school violence that I'm aware of uh, that has been tied to Looney Tunes cartoons. <laughs> yeah. Now they tried to tie school violence back in the day. Uh, they tried to tie violence to Doom. They try to tie it to video games still. They still try to tie it to video games. Um, you know, I'm sitting here looking at my Mortal Kombat arcade machine, and I've never had the urge to rip somebody's head off uh, or shoot them with a harpoon right. or anything else or but turn I, into a dragon I, I, and bite them. I have never heard anybody say that they were swayed by Elmer Fudd. I just... <laughs> I don't know. I know, and the thing is, like, someone's out of sight. Exactly. It's like, you know, okay, you don't want to give him a gun. Okay, we, I mean, you gave a reason. It makes sense. We understand that. Maybe you couldn't get it greenlit because the studios, like you said, were being gun shy, no pun intended. But to give him a scythe, that doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even, bow and arrow, maybe? You know, um, hunting knife or something like that. Um, or just make him, a, just put him in a different outfit and have him be a little bit changed. Um, but still Elmer Fudd. But I guess you really can't change number five without. Yeah. I don't know. The whole thing is. Here we've got Twitter ways in. They said that, uh, they're mad because they think that without a gun, Elmer Fudd loses his identity. Well, considering he was introduced uh, basically to chase Bugs Bunny around as a hunter character with the gun. Yeah, he pretty much does. Which means that they believe their their entire identity comes from their ownership of guns. Except no, a lot of people who, who, who think it's stupid don't have guns. Uh, equal parts terrifying and pathetic. 
Well, it is that's what I dumb. think about Twitter. Yeah, I know, right? Oh my god, you summed it up for me. Eagle Park's terrifying and pathetic. Uh, yeah, so it's just, it just, I don't know. I think it was, I think it was a misfire. Again, I think people were like, well, just use another character. It just make him do something but else. if you're worried about weapons, why give him a weapon at all? That's what I'm saying. You're like, it's because they're dependent on guns. Well, I don't understand. If he's, if it can't have a gun because it promotes violence, how the fuck, sorry, mom, can he have a scythe? That's so, what I don't understand. So let me get this straight. Okay. There was, there was a horrible uh, uh, attack last year at movie theaters in the UK. Mm -hmm. Guns were not involved. But machetes were. Right. So... How dare you? You can't have any kind of a sword. You can't have any kind, of, any kind of a knife. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying people... Now it was weird. People were trying to tie that to Frozen 2. Yeah. Remember that? They're yes. Like, and it's like Frozen 2 had nothing to do with it. Oh, a machete attack at Frozen It's like, no, wait, why? It had nothing to do with Frozen 2. It was the other movie. But it... But, but beyond that, this whole thing just hurts my brain because why are you going to pick that weapon? Why not just, you know, if the weapons are problematic and terrible, just don't, just, just change the scenario and give him something. Don't, don't give him a weapon. You pick that up and then you say it's because of his, his mask. What do they call it again? His uh, challenged. Challenged. Chal you mean, you're meaning challenged because he doesn't seem to have any. I would agree with that. Um, because he's never been a very masculine character. A challenged masculinity to me says he lacks it. I can, I, that I would agree with. Yeah, yeah. So he's not working anywhere now. Uh, so apparently they've wrapped production on this show. Now, this went into production, I think, before AT&T bought WarnerMedia. Mm -hmm. So I have to wonder if AT&T would have made the same decision or if they would have been like, we can't bring Elmer Fudd in without his rifle. That's literally the point of the character. Yeah, you know? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but he's, he's pretty good, though. You know, I don't agree with his opinions, but he's pretty good. Anyway. Anyway, uh, anything else we want to say about Elmer Fudd and his challenged masculinity? I just can't get past the challenged masculinity. It just amuses me far more than it ever should amuse me, but it does. So there we go. That is that is apparently what happened. What apparently happened was uh, the show went into production uh, when we had Las Vegas and Elmer lost his gun. You know, I remember as a kid watching Elmer Fudd and sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, he is just so toxic. And that's what toxic masculinity looks like. <laughs> uh, that's what I used to think when I'd watch uh, Looney Tunes. I don't know. I've, I've met some guys that look like Elmer Fudd, and they're pretty toxic. So we're going to wrap this one up? Yeah. All right. So please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.